And some runners here in the Miami Valley are also going back to Boston. A group from Piqua will once again be running in the marathon next week. And tonight, family and friends wish them luck. Robert Lowry continues our team coverage with their special send off. Well, some of those athletes preparing for that run in Boston a year after those bombs went off tonight. They got a special send off in Piqua as they look forward to the emotion of crossing that finish line in this year's marathon. Every step on the pavement, one step closer to Boston. Just a fun, easy run and loosen up the legs and then come back and celebrate with everybody. Some of these runners are getting ready for another year at the Boston Marathon, cheered on by their friends and family right here in Piqua. All of them coming together by the single love of running. This year's marathon, however, will bring something more to the race. Oh my gosh, you know, I really don't know what's going to be happening. I, I'm. I'm thinking it might be a very emotional, you know, when you get down to that street, the crowds are just so intense. It was a year ago when one of these athletes was preparing for his first run in the Boston Marathon. Kyle Broombaugh finished an hour and a half before the bombs went off on Boylston Street. Over the year, you, you sort of take in a lot of stories, and, and for I think a lot of people coming back, it's going to be unfinished business that they were so close to finishing and then they were turned away. It's unfinished business not just for the runners returning, Roomba says, but for those killed or injured that day. The road to recovery has been difficult, but a year later he feels the community truly is Boston strong. So this is the kind of an opportunity for us to kind of come together, I think as a large group and move forward for those people. We're one big strong community and to think that somebody did this I think it's, it's more of that outpouring that says, hey, kind of don't mess with us. And that sent off made even more special. Some Boston themed goodie bags being sent with those runners. You can imagine the Boston baked beans inside of Boston cream pies they had inside some of those bags as well. Just to let them know that their friends and family right here in the Miami Valley are wishing them a safe and successful run. Reporting live, Robert Lowry, 2 News, working for you.